Hi, everyone. Uh, so you've been doing the electromagnetic spectrum for chapter four, and this introduces the basic uh, ideas behind light. And one of the ideas behind light is that light acts like a wave. And based off of the wavelength of light, we can correspond that to the types of energy that light has. So what I'm gonna do is do a demonstration for you. And what we're gonna do is take this UV paper. So um, you would think of this as glow-in-the-dark paper. Maybe if you have glow-in-the-dark stars on your ceilings at home, you charge those types of items with regular light in your rooms. And then when you turn the lights off, um, they release that energy. So this paper is sensitive to different types of energy or different types of light. And what it'll do is it'll glow based off of the amount of energy um, that is emitted from that light. So from the models that we've covered so far, what we should have looked at is in the uh, electromagnetic spectrum, we have different colors of light that have different types of energy. The lowest types of energetic energy and light would be things like microwaves, uh, infrared radiations, things that are below the visible end of the spectrum that we can't see. But things that we can see would be something like red light, for example. So this is a red LED light and it gives off the wavelength of red light. This is going to be um, the visible light that has the longest wavelength out of the light that we can see and it should correspond to the lowest amount of energy that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expose this paper here to the red light and you can kind of see after I get done tracing that area is kind of visible but it doesn't continue to glow very much. So what that tells me about this paper and this red light is that there's not a lot of energy uh, associated with it to where it's able to excite the electrons in the atoms of the paper to make them bounce off the paper and give off that light. As we go through the visible spectrum, Roy G. Bibb, red, orange, yellow, green, indi uh, blue, indigo, violet, we're gonna get more and more energetic and our light waves are gonna start to get shorter and shorter. That corresponds to a higher frequency and higher energy. The other type of LED light that I have with me is a blue LED. So if you're looking at the spectrum behind me, we're gonna see that there's a red end of the spectrum and the blue end of the spectrum. So these should be much more energetic. What do I expect to see when I put this onto the glow-in-the-dark paper? I should see something glowing more because this light contains more energy. So let's look. And that confirms the idea that blue light contains more energy than red light because when I exposed the paper to the blue light, it was able to excite the electrons inside of the paper and have them absorb that energy and then continue to glow. Now we're gonna wait for this paper to kind of release that energy, kind of go back to a resting phase or a normal phase. There is one other type of light that I have access to, and that is black light. Inside of black light um, is a filter, and the type of light that happens in these is actually UV light. So UV radiation is actually something that we cannot see, but when we put it through a filter, it appears purple. The reason why that appears purple with the filter is because ultraviolet light is just beyond the violet end of the spectrum. So it's gonna look very similar to violet light because that is the closest type of light towards that type of wavelength. Now that my paper has kind of calm down, we're gonna put the UV light up to it. One thing that's gonna look a little different between this UV light and my LED light is what you can see is that the LED light has a much smaller circle, whereas my UV light has several bulbs together. So the area is going to be larger simply because of the type of light that I have, but I want you to think about the type of glowing versus um, the blue light that I had. So if I take this UV light, you're gonna see that it glows very, very bright and it's continuing to glow. Just to kind of compare it to the blue light again, here was the blue light. And as they go, you're gonna to start to see that the UV light is gonna take longer to release the energy because it had more energy compared to the blue light. Both of these are gonna probably mellow out about the same time because of the different energy levels and length of exposure. 
So hopefully this gets you um, a little bit of a visual representation of energy and the different types of light that we have and using simple things like glow in the dark stars or glow in the dark paper in order to emphasize our different types of colors.